up? What's up? What's up, y'all? It's me, Torian Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals, get you hip to what you hip to, or hip you on to what may be hidden. Ain't nothing but love here, y'all. I'm here to inspire you to use your intuition, your God-given talents. We have free will, but your spirit team is trying to be your friend. They're trying to be your best friend. Yes, they're trying to be your best friend. I hear that you got somebody who feels as though they're a prince. Feel as though they're a prince around you. Feel as though they are entitled to you. They don't want to take no for an answer. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. This person is everywhere. Six of Swords at the bottom of my deck. They everywhere. They taking trips everywhere. If it, it could be out of town or it could be around the corner. It could be next door. This person came in to interrupt this high vibing energy and this this new way of doing shit. I just saw one eleven on the clock. This new way of doing shit. Um, it's time for you to use your intuition. Be, mm -hmm. it, you, you had a vision, and this person came in and divided and conquered it. Eight of Spores, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. They, your spirit team wants you to take you some steps back and remove the blindfold because it's something that you're not paying attention to concerning this person. It's like you feel like they're alienating you, right? You you putting their feeling, their aspirations, um, everything that it is that has to do with them. You putting it first, putting them first, right? And it's like you feel like you trapped. Um, you don't want to test the waters, see if um, having this conversation that you need to have with this person. I feel you know you don't want to have that conversation because you think it'll do something to y'all connection. But it's time for you to quit thinking like that. With this death card at the bottom, you've stepped into a, a, a new phase in your life. You've matured in a lot of areas, and I feel like with this death card, you're in a new chapter in your life, too. This is a new phase for you. That, that um, let me think of your feelings first mentality is out the door, the G said. It's time for you to free yourself, and you're going to be able to free yourself by speaking up. This could have something to do with your job, too. They may be trying to overwork you, trying to slave you mm -hmm, with this Ace of Swords reverse. Again, some air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's time for you to rethink how you're going about um, compromising your beliefs, your standards, being indecisive because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings is what the G said. That's being fake. That's being phony. You got to walk in your true authentic self because you have a crown on your head. Recognize that you a king or you a queen. You understand me? Um, you're not speaking what's on your mind, getting your truths up off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that, you know, there's no disastrous moments coming to, um, to your mental state, you know, nobody hurting your feelings or, or harming your body. You know what I'm saying? But people trying to play their hand, um, is what I'm feeling at work. And, you know, within your love life, you got a lot on your plate right now. Yeah, it's, uh, with this Ten of Wands at the bottom of my deck, is with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, it's time for you to regroup. You've been, I feel as though you, you've been sick with it, too. Like, this woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. This woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. Because folk talking shit and you letting them do it. You let them and let it fly over your head like, I am not this person no more. Right, and it's a question of whether or not you even want to be bothered with this person. You got to bond with them. I feel like you know, with this page of wands and this ten of cups, but this can be be friends. You know, it popped out reverse, but water energy. You know, it's a lot of emotion between the two of y'all too, right? But somebody do get get you about they hook up. They always it's a it's like if they don't get what they want, then they sure enough not gonna give you what you need. Take that however relate to your personal realm of being, right? And 
and it's like they make you unstable in all your ways because they push all your buttons. They do be hurting your feelings. They be pissing you off. They be distracting you too with these tantrums and shit. Y'all, the environment that y'all in together, you know, that y'all create when y'all together, it is very unstable. But you bored with it too. In the future, I see a tower. I do. I see a tower, and tower is not always bad. It may leave you feeling frustrated, though, you know, with this Knight of Wands reverse. It may leave you feeling frustrated and shit, feeling as though um, you wasted your time because it's going to be something that falls in your lap, you know, that's going to have you with your mouth gaped open. With your mouth gaped open. But this, you've been disconnected from your feelings. You've been disconnected from being able to be you. So it's some shit that's coming to change the game. With the seven of wands at the bottom of my deck, it's like these people around you who be talking all this shit, talking because they got lips, they got smart mouths. And, you know, I just heard, you know, a, a different you. It's like the old you versus the new you, a different you has been presented. Like, you know, I'm not on this confrontational energy or mindset i'm not about to argue back and forth with you okay go ahead it's like they challenging you like they testing your gangster and shit but geez want you to know your spiritual team want you to know that you you about to topple over the game the ball about to be in your court period point blank because this tower is coming so it can bring some alignment with this ten of cups energy for you to wake up once you align with um Balancing out your emotions, you know what I'm saying? Keeping keeping you intact, paying attention to you is what I just heard. Persisting on being str strong in your spirit, you know what I'm saying? It's a way that you talk to people, and, and it's a way that you talk to people. You got to bag some folk up, create some boundaries and shit, because it's been too many overstepped. The Gs want you to know you got this, though. They love you. They do. They love you is what I just heard. They love you. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy, they love you, they look at you as one of their beautiful souls that has been sent here to change the vibration of this universe, mm -hmm. of this here earth, you're very gifted, um, I, I hear, you know, you gotta recognize, analyze, and realize that even when you instill in love and folk who, who are, who seem to be angry with you, or who seem to, you, you can feel it, too, that these people talking about you behind your back. They're trying to belittle you. They're telling your business, whatever it is that you may be conversing with them about. Um, these people use it against you, not only to get what it is that they want up out of you, but to slander you out here. And you smart as fuck. You already hip to this. Um, you, you see in both worlds. You're not looking at the outer appearance of these people, what it is that they have. Um, where they work at, they title, you know, even whether or not, you know, you may be single and they may be trying to, you know, come down on you about you not having somebody that you, it, that you're not in a committed relationship, you know, take it where it resonates. These people, you know, they really are causing a lot of delays in your growth. It's time for you to weed your garden with this nine of swords. This is, you have had too many tests with these people. You've been paying attention to this deceptive ass energy too, right? And how is is some shit that goes on in your world, you know, that you got to get these lessons, right? You got to get these lessons because you can you gotta stand for something to fall for anything. Mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like these people help to create this with this page of wands reverse. It's like they lazy. You know, and they you adapt into a uh, this this laziness that they have too. It's like you this self development stage that you were on. You know what I'm saying? It's like you you falling off a little bit because you you indecisive as hell, and you being passionate about these people and not yourself. You ain't got no money right now. You got the support of your angels, though. You got the support of your spiritual team. But what about the support that is it reciprocal with these people that you're dealing with? This judgment card reversed. You you about to understand people on a whole nother level. You I feel as though 
something new was about to come. Something new was about to come. You're going to reunite with your true, authentic self. It's some, it's some boundaries that have been crossed, but there's about to be some walls put up as well because I got this emperor card at the bottom of my deck. You see masculine or feminine energy. It's a need and a call for you to step into your power. For you to step into this energy of being stable in everything that you do, right? And that's the, that's the course that you've been on. However... These people around you, these motherfuckers, nope, the G said it's time, it's time, it's time for you to put your emotions on the back burner, I feel as though you've been emotional a lot lately, but it's time to put those emotions on the back burner, and There's no scattering of the energy next season. People just can't have easy access to you with this Knight of Pentacles. It's time to create some changes. Keep people all the way over there. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, energy. You know, you you haven't been complaining about too much. I feel as though you've been showing a lot of gratitude. But you idle, right? You idle. And... You haven't been able to explore you. You haven't been able to tap into your psychic abilities is what I'm seeing, right? You got a happy surprise coming next season in the future. It's going to stabilize those emotions. You're going to know that your spiritual team, your ancestors, most high, your spirit guides, that they love you with this Ten of Wands, you most definitely are going to know that you have honored them, right? You know you didn't honor them. You know you've been trying to walk a chalk line when it comes to being a good person, right? Loving on everybody, even when they ain't loving on you, not in the sexual content, y'all, right? Um, I feel as though that's what you've been seeking, a divine love, right? You have aligned your mind, your body, and your soul, and you're on a different frequency, you have been aligned on a harmonious trail that is coming for you. This tower. This tower is going to change the game. It's going to be some dismantling of some shit, but you got to break down the foundation so this new, this new, new can grow and be able to walk right on in. Hello.